something a little bit different. Um, I am somebody who struggles with organization. Like I, some parts of my personality are a little bit type A, like I like to have things under control. But sometimes I kind of tend to let things go and my pantry was one of those things that I kind of let go. And what was happening was um, I had so much stuff in there that things would get just pushed around and disheveled to the point that I couldn't even see what I had. And so I was buying things that I already had in my pantry and things were going bad and expiring before I could use them and I couldn't find anything. And even though I would try to organize things how I would want them, you know, I have a husband who uses the pantry and he didn't understand my system. Um, I have parents and in-laws who stay here and take care of my son sometimes and they don't know my system. And so things, even if I would get in a good frame of control, then not everybody else could see my system. So um, the purpose of this video is really twofold. Number one, to show you some of the systems I have put in place to organize my pantry. And number two, it's just kind of fun to see what people keep in their pantry. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to take you along and I'm just going to go shelf by shelf and show you some of the things that I keep on hand. Now I'm not the most organized person in the world. So um, I don't want to put myself in the category of some other YouTubers who do great organization um, videos but I guess I'm just like a regular person who kind of struggles to stay organized and so I thought that this would still be helpful so I'm sharing it with you so without further ado here is my pantry okay everybody this is my pantry and we are very lucky to have a pretty good sized pantry um, it's not a walk-in like a lot of people have but I still have a pretty good amount of space and I can keep a lot of stuff in here, which is both a blessing and a curse because sometimes I tend to buy too much. So I'm just going to go shelf by shelf and show you guys some of what I have. Over here in the dark corner, that's my husband's popcorn. You've seen my videos. I like to make my own, but he still prefers the pop secret. And here... I just have some toddler snacks, some goldfish, graham crackers, vanilla wafers. Those are the things that my son eats. We don't really eat too much of those, so I like to keep his in his own bin. And right here, I found this container at Home Goods, and I don't know if you can see, but it has a divider down the middle, and it's the perfect size for these little um, individual packs, which I have become a great fan of after doing. Weight Watchers, so that is very handy. And I just keep little packs of things um, that I like to eat or that anybody in my house can eat. But that's just where we keep all of our single serve stuff. And then we still have some of the big bags um, of chips. You see two bags of baked scoops here. And what I've done is I just keep a couple of the little chip clips in the bin so they're right there ready to use. And then here we have our cereal and Contrary to how it looks, we really don't eat a lot of cold cereal. I mostly keep this for visitors. And then I have a couple of bran um, cereals I use to make muffins with. Um, my husband eats some of the mini wheats and some of the oatmeal squares. And then my son eats the Cheerios. So, and then back here in the corner, I don't know if you can, I'll just move so you can see this. That's kind of the cracker area. You see my Wasa Crisp. Um, I've got some Triscuits, some um, Ritz back there, and then our saltines. So that's kind of the cracker area. And it helps to keep those like items placed next to each other. And right here, I don't know if you can see, I just have like a taco kit that I use to make tacos sometimes. Um, this is where it starts to get a little messy because this is kind of my husband's section of the pantry. Um, this is where we keep our granola bars. And oh my goodness, when we cleaned out... We have so many freaking granola bars. Oh my gosh. And so um, this is one of the items that we had so many of that I was like, okay, we don't need to buy any granola, bar granola bars for a long, long time. Now this big thing is my husband's snack and breakfast grab container. And can you believe, I mean, not to hate on this stuff, but he eats this kind of stuff for breakfast. I can't believe it. Men. Anyway, I'm messing up his 
But anyway, that's his um, container where he keeps all of the grab items that he grabs for breakfast to take to work. And then over here is my canned goods area. <laughs> I also don't need to buy tuna fish for a really long time. I had a lot of albacore tuna from Costco. Um, and now is more of like my tomato products. I have some Rotel, some diced tomatoes, and I keep a lot of our pasta sauce up here. Move to the side. What else is back here? I have some pimentos. I have some Kalamata olives, some taco sauce. Um, Moving on down, I don't buy a ton of canned goods. If you noticed, most of my canned goods are beans and tomatoes with, a, you know, of course, a bunch of tuna fish. Um, I try to use more fresh or frozen vegetables, but canned tomatoes and beans are really convenient and they're just really easy to use. And so I do have some of those. Here I keep my broth. Here's a beef and a chicken back there. Just things to keep on hand. And then over in this corner, I just keep like our extra condiments. Like we have some mayonnaise, some powdered buttermilk, some A1, um, some Worcestershire sauce, an extra ketchup, barbecue sauce, that kind of stuff, hot sauce. So then we come down here in this shelf. Let me just pan the shelf before I show you everything. It's kind of our grain and nut and bean shelf. And it's not the prettiest, but I have tried to take most of my beans out of the little bags. And, and here's my chia seed. That's over here, too. Um, and put them in jars. And this has really helped. I can see, rather than just having like an avalanche of sacks of different kind of beans, um, I've got all different kinds in here. I have like green split peas. Let me just come through here. I've got red beans, pintos, black beans, lentils, and um, kidney beans in the back. Put this back. Over here, I have my nuts and nut butter products. I love PB2. I have both the regular and the chocolate back there. I have some peanut butter. I have some jelly, some strawberry jam. Uh, I keep these for my dad. I don't really eat them very much, but my dad loves um, lightly salted peanuts, so we try to keep some for him. I've got some almonds in a pantry container back there. Also, I've got some pistachios. Love them. Got some organic cashews from Whole Foods, which are really yummy. I've got some of these cinnamon roast almonds, which are really, really good. So we've got a lot of nuts. And then this is something new that I did. I just made a little bread container because our bread was getting squished between things and I couldn't really find it. And so in here, keep our sliced bread, which I love the 45 calorie Sara Lee. And then um, there's me some flat out wraps. I'm really the only ones in our house that eat those and then right here I just have some bagel thins which if you follow me you know that I eat a lot of breakfast sandwiches on those so that's my little bread bin and then over here we're getting more into like the um, pasta and rice section I just have a little bit I didn't put this in an extra container because there's just a little bit left but this is really good this is um, the whole grain Tex Mati and brown wild rice blend and it's really good uh, behind it, that when it is stocked, it is penne um, whole grain pasta, which we're almost out of. This is like halfway empty, and the reason I didn't mix it with this pasta is because one of them is linguine and one of them spaghetti, and they have different cooking times, and so I thought, well, we don't normally keep linguine. I had bought this just for a recipe, so I thought I would leave that in the box. And the same for this. I bought this to make something for my toddler. It's just the small cut pasta. So we don't really eat this very often, so I didn't give it its own container. I love these containers. I got them at Walmart, and they are the Better Homes brand. And what I like about them is that they're airtight. They have these great little lids, and <clears throat> it keeps the items fresher longer. Not only that, when you get 
the different sizes they're stackable you can see and I've gotten some Avery labels um, these are removable which is really cool so if you ever change containers or if you want to wash it you can just peel it off and it sticks right back on so these containers are great because it makes everything look uniform um, and keeps the food fresh so I really like that and in the back I haven't decided if I'm gonna put these in containers yet we've got some grits Every good southern girl has got to have her old-fashioned grits and um, some cream of wheat. And my toddler is the main one who eats this. Sometimes I eat some, too. Um, it's pretty low in points. I'm going to say like three points per serving. Okay, the next row, it's not very exciting. It's just our paper products. So I have like all of our wraps and sandwich bags here. And I have all of our cups. Um, our to-go coffee cups, which I don't even really use. I don't, I'm not sure why I bought those. Plastic cups that we use mostly when we're entertaining. I have that down here. <clears throat> I have my popcorn down here as well as my favorite protein smoothie. Uh, as well as my favorite protein powder, which is Tara's Way. Let me move this out of the way so I can show you guys. And I'll put a link below. I'm not big on like meal replacements or protein shakes but this is really good it tastes really good and it's really good high quality and so I will put a link to it in the comments below in case you want to try it and I have found it on Amazon um, they also have it at Whole Foods but I find that it is more expensive there so I just have those items kind of play there was some space between my paper bins and so stuck it there here we just have napkins and I have some festive ones that we use for birthday parties or when people come over. And here is like more to-go stuff. It's like all of our plastic cutlery and spoons. And it's a container that I put my son's milk in in the diaper bag. Just have like a reusable lunch bag. Um, some brown bags back there and just random things, some straws. And then, this is overflowing, so I need to clean this up a little bit. I have one of these um, plastic bag dispensers. And so, I do take reusable bags to the store, but sometimes I forget them. And so, and we do use these as garbage bags, so sometimes um, it's handy to have some of those around. <clears throat> now, down here, I've just put some extra things. Um, these are the things I used to refill my PB2. They're like sacks. But I kept the jars because I like using them better. Here's some extra pasta that I can replace in my bins when they get empty. Some rice. And then this has helped. This is my potato bin. And so I've got some sweet potatoes and some regular potatoes in here. And this really helps because what was happening was I was getting the little produce bags with potatoes in them and they would just get lost in the back of my pantry and I would lose track of them until they would start to rot and smell. I know that's really disgusting but it would happen and I was like I've got to organize this better because this is gross and just too gross. <laughs> um, here I have some of the aluminum uh, casserole dishes and things. I use these when I make meals for people to take to them so um, if, if I can do that that really helps so they don't have to worry about returning um, any kind of Tupperware to me. We got some Gatorade which we really only use when we're sick. Some extra oats. Just some extras down here. Grape juice. Really only use that when we're sick. Here's some of my extra individual packs and an extra more oatmeal good gosh we've got enough oatmeal to feed an army then on the bottom here we just have a roll of trash bags i have my bread machine i don't keep it on the counter because it just takes up too much space but we do still use it so i take it out when i need it we have a in insulated lunch bag cooler and then i have my shelf paper and contact paper and some extra vases down here. So I use that like when I, obviously when we have flowers or um, fresh herbs or something. And really my goal for the bottom of my pantry was to get anything edible up off the floor because I just, 
we didn't have a bug problem, but I was just afraid we would get one. And I don't know. Something about having food on the floor just didn't feel right. So tried to get everything up off the floor that was edible. And I scrubbed out the bottom really, really well. Um, what I like about using all these bins is that it makes it really easy to find things. And it also makes it really easy to clean. So I don't know if you can see, but I have plastic here so that things don't fall through the wire racks. But these get dusty, and so it's a lot easier just to pull these out so that I can wipe things down and keep it really clean in here. Well, there you go. I hope that was helpful. I hope it gave you um, some ideas of maybe some new grocery items to keep on hand and maybe some ideas about how to organize your pantry. If you would like to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. As always, visit me at my home on the web, a pinch of Thanks, and I'll see you guys here next time, okay? Bye!